Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique War Game Terrain. Guys, welcome back for everyone that's new. This is a Let's Build video. What are Let's Build videos and what are they about? Well, basically, I take a model kit and I show you how to put it together. If there's any areas of concern on the sprue, I'll let you guys know. If there's any bits, when I say areas of concern, I mean like things that are like chain or wires or stuff that you need to be very careful with when you're clipping and when you're cleaning. If there's anything on the sprue that's numbered wrong, I'll let you guys know. Um, if you suffer dyslexia or just struggle with instructions in general, again, this is a visual way to help you guys out. Sometimes models don't come with instructions. So again, this is, you know, to help you guys. If you're thinking of a new army or you have an army and you're thinking about specific models in that army and I do let's build on them, it's to help you guys so you can see, is it easy to put together? Yes, it is. Or it's not easy to put together. It's a little bit of a pain in the backside. But with the visual aid that I, that I, produce, I do for you guys, I, my hope is to make it a lot easier for you guys to... And more accessible for you guys to, to get these models put them together. See you then, guys. So today, I'm going to build this guy. Space Marines Captain with Master Crafted Heavy Bolt Rifle. Yeah, it's a fantastic looking min uh, miniature. Absolutely fantastic. And that rifle is just... So anyway, let's have a look at his stat lines as usual. Movement of five. Um, twos to hit in combat. Twos to hit from shooting, as you would expect. Strength four. Toughness five. He's actually tougher than normal Swiss Marines. Good. Seven wounds. That's insane. Uh, five attacks. Leadership nine. And three plus armor save. Now he hasn't got, his, hasn't got the... <clears throat> It hasn't got the uh, <coughs> information, sorry. <coughs> it's better. He hasn't got the information for the heavy bolt rifle, but that will be in the uh, Codex of Styes. So as always, guys, tools needed. Mold line scraper. Now, some people can use a hobby knife or some other sort of like blade, like a surgical blade, but just be careful using the blade because they are sharp. If there's anyone in the house... Let them know you're using the blade so nobody scares you back accident and you end up cutting yourself. Clippers. Most useful part for our tool. Now I do have this lovely material. This is sanding sponge. Well, this is a sanding block, I think this is called. But this is this is sanding sponge. It's essentially the same, but this one comes in a big block, as you can see. I've, I've cut. This is, comes in a much thinner block. And basically, it's a sponge with sandpaper either side. It's handy for getting into little bits that you can't get into and wires, chains, all that sort of stuff. Um, where you get this from, hardware shop. It should be with the sandpaper slash towards the painting section. Okay, because they use this for cleaning like lining paper off the side of the walls and, you know, various other different bits and pieces. It's a plastic kit. So I do have plastic glue. I also have super glue to hand, just in case. I don't think I'm going to need it with this one. Now, it's a very simple kit. As always, guys, for everyone that's new, we look at the kit and see what we can ascertain is what to make it easier for ourselves to break the kit up and everything else. So straight away, I can see his head. Okay. I can see his body. His front part of his body. Backpack, leg, arm, arm. Very straightforward. I can see his hand there. So this arm would connect into the hand there. Very straightforward. So the first thing we do, we need parts one and two. This is number one. And this is number two. So I'm going to snip those off, clean those down, and come back to show you how they go together. I said this model is a very straightforward model at the beginning. I, that was an understatement. This is a very simple model. Now, <clears throat> first you're going to look at this and go, how does this go? See the two little bits sticking out on the cloak? There's two little holes in there. So that glues in there, that connects into there. Okay. So I'm going to glue that into place and then come back for the next piece. 
There it is, nice and easy. The next piece needed, as you would have guessed, is number three, which is the front part, body part. I'm going to snip it, clean it, show you how it goes on. Right, and that's for where this one goes, it just goes over the top. Now this piece here, this piece here, sits over the top of the leg. Okay, as you can see, mine's not, still not finished drying. So I'm going to glue that into place because it just goes over there. Okay, and then I'm going to come back and show you for the next piece. Right, what we need now is um, number five. And number four, okay, they're very self explanatory where they go one's the left arm, one's the right arm. Now, the um, right arm here, number five, you can see there's no hand on it because his hand is actually on the gun, okay, underneath the gun. And the left arm, same, his hand's on the sword, okay. So, I'm going to snip those off, clean those down, and glue them on the, the very self explanatory where they go on. Just make sure that you put glue on both the bit that connects into the shoulder, yeah, and the part of the hat, the wrist. So when it goes to two points of contact, it, it, it's a nice firm contact. Oh, and I glued it to the base. I went ahead and glued it in place. Not meant to do it to the end, but I just said no. What's left to do on him doesn't interfere with nothing with his legs or the base. So let me screw into the base and have that ready. So this is where we're at now. Now. There was a horrible join line along here. I did run some plastic glue into it. Um, so I just stuck the base properly. Nice. I'm gonna have to hold that for a couple of minutes. Anyway, um, the next piece is needed. Right. So this little his head. We all know where the head goes. It's very self-explanatory, but there is a little thing at the bottom, a little square. There is a square hole in the where his head goes, so you, that's where it goes straight in. Now you can slip the square off and just glue him in a different sort of position if you want to. His backpack goes on his back. Just, look at, just be careful with that, it looks actually amazing. Look at the detail on that, it's fantastic. Um, it actually looks like Rebel Sam he's wearing. This little lovely piece i'll show you exactly where that goes it pins in there on this cloak um so i'm going to snip those off clean those down glue those on um backpack self-explanatory you can see the curve in the cloak and the curve at the bottom of the backpack and there's a the little square in there for the head so i'm going to clip those off clean those down glue those into place and come back to you for final thoughts and here we are guys very very easy very straightforward now let's just put that upside down you'll be forgiven if you do what i just did and put it upside down and you'd be forgiven if you don't put them on there because this is the only free part of this model Bit of a pain, even to clean him is a bit of a pain because the sprue came off either side. Yeah, the sprue came, bits of the sprue come up on the spike side, the, the top and bottom side. I, I still snipped them down. It's not going to be, well, it's going to be noticeable, but it's not going to be that noticeable. So let me phrase it. I know it's there, I know I did it wrong. Absolutely fantastic. Very, very easy. I'd probably give this a difficulty rating maybe of a, I'd say two, because it is very, very straightforward. The only thing is that little bit there. I need to drop a little bit of glue on the nozzle of the gun here because there's a little bit of sprue there that didn't come off. That's been sand down properly. Um, yeah, I like. I really like this model. I must say, the amount of models that are growing on this table, <laughs> I need to really um, heart some of them for for the, the vote for today. You know, for today's painting video, but the others are just there. I need to locate them elsewhere and then try and keep this space ready for 
things like this when they're done they can be put down until they're located somewhere else so guys anyway there's enough of me waffling on if it's, you enjoyed this video it's helped you in any way please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so because it means a hell of a lot to me it costs you guys absolutely nothing it just helps the channel out in a massive massive way turn your notifications on so you don't miss any videos that i produce um, today is Monday, so it's Monday's painting video, but don't, don't panic, this this video is not replacing that. Okay, Monday's painting video is on the way, it's actually there. Okay, I'm just waiting for contrast paint to dry. So I thought I'd just build something quickly and chuck this up there this morning, because that'd be ready by this afternoon. Well, I'll be ready in the next hour or so, but I'll upload a video later on. Guys, thank you for watching, and thank you for everyone that supports the channel for, you know, as long as you have, it means a hell of a lot to me. Let's keep it going. Um, one last thing, everyone. Everyone smash the thumbs up button. That triggers YouTube to share this video with every, more and more people. So we, this lovely community grows. Guys, until next time, take it easy.